Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. De Cruz again, and today I'm coming to you from outside. It's a very nice day today. It's a little on the cool side. If you look up, it's a little cloudy, but it's nice to be outside and get some fresh air. So I thought today we could do something a little different. How about we go on a field trip? All right, and see all of the things that are starting to sprout. Now, boys and girls, um, spring is just around the corner. And so that means that the weather is changing. Some days it's cold, some days it's hot, um, but it's changing. And I've noticed when I walk around my yard that a lot of things are starting to pop up. Maybe you noticed that too. If you look at the trees, some of them have buds. If you look at the ground, sometimes you could see things that are starting to grow or the grass is starting to turn green again. So that's a sign that spring is well on its way. All right, so I have two books that I'm going to read, but I'll do that at the end of our field trip. All right, so here we go. Let's see, how do I do this? All right, so look right here. Do you see this? This is brand new grass. This wasn't here last week and look at this. That's brand new too, it's really small. This is my pointer fingers, you could tell that's super small, but it's growing. All around things are starting to grow. There's grass, oh and look at this. This is grass from last year. If you pull at it, it's well, oh, wait a minute, it still has roots. So maybe it could grow, but since I pulled it out, it probably won't grow anymore. Now look at this little guy. So tiny. Oops, look at that. I'm not sure what that is, but it's something. All right. Now, if we look in my garden here, look at this. What do we see? Look at the leaves. If I pull back the leaves, you can see that, oh, look at this. It grew right through the leaf. This is popping up. This is what's called an allium. Can you say allium? Allium. Now an allium is, it's a kind of flower and it's from the onion family. And these flowers, they grow into big, big balls. They're purple and they're kind of stinky. So we put them over here in the corner because they tend to be kind of smelly fun. And I don't really care for the smell. So that's an allium. And look at the leaves. What color are the leaves? Yep, they're brown. Are they alive? No. Those fell off of the tree at fall. Now let's see. Yep, we got a lot of brown stuff here. It's not ready to sprout just yet, but oh, if I look back here, look at this. Something else sprouting. I think that's an allium as well, or perhaps it's another onion. The other day we were digging and we found a potato. Isn't that funny? Potatoes, can they grow in the ground, underground, and um, you dig them up. And I guess we forgot to dig that one up because it was a bit of a surprise. And look at this. This is new. And look at this. This is just poking out from the soil. See that? It's only as big as my fingertip, but it's growing and it'll keep growing. And look over here. We have a tiny little blade of grass and another little thing right here. See? But all around us, things are growing, including you. I wonder, have you grown a lot since the last time we saw each other? I bet. Now take a look over here. We have some things that are popping up. These are some plants in the front of my garden. And these are flowers. And they're just starting to pop up. Here's some more here. Now look over here, that's seagrass. 
it's not quite ready to start growing. I think it's gonna wait a little longer and then when it's ready, we'll start to see green coming out. Now look at these guys. These just started up last week. They're growing. And now look, if you look in here, look, the flower is starting to grow. It's gonna take a little while, but it'll, it'll grow even more. And this right here, oh my goodness, this is, Cruz has to do some gardening. Look at this. This is starting to sprout too. This is called sedum. S-E-D-U-M, sedum, and they grow low. So look at that, isn't that beautiful? They look like little cabbages. A couple pretty flowers. These are very small, but they grow, grow early in the springtime. They look super pretty. You can cut them and put them in a small little vase. Rose bush is looking kind of sad, but I bet if I cut it and then let it grow, it'll do pretty well. Now take a look at the grass here. Yep, it's starting to grow. It takes a while. Maybe you've noticed the grass growing in some places and maybe other places not yet, but that's normal. That's a sign of spring. Maybe you've heard the birds chirping or you've been able to go outside to play. And that's fun. And maybe just wear a jacket. Today I'm just wearing a jacket. And here's one final thing I'd like to show you. This beautiful tree. Now these flowers, they flower in the springtime and they're very, very smelly. They smell really, really nice. I wish you could smell them. They smell very sweet. And that's a sure sign. I know that it's springtime when these beautiful flowers grow from a tree. All right, so here we are. Now it's time to read a book. First, I'm gonna read a book that's called, the name of it, the title is Too Brave. And this book is in English and Amharic. And if you remember, Amharic is the national language of Ethiopia. And in Ethiopia, they, they speak many, many, many different languages. And this is one that many people do speak. Now, this book was written by Jane Kurtz and No Goring, and it was illustrated by Jane Kurtz, No Goring, LMA Goring, and students from Finley School. Uh, I'm not sure where Finley School is. Let me see. Whoopsies. Findlay School is in Beaverton, Ohio, Oregon. That's super. Fantastic. So, um, Beaverton, Oregon. That is far away from Massachusetts. So, hello, people in Oregon. All right. Too brave. Too brave. The mouse was sure he was the bravest in all the land. He stole corn out of people's hands. No mouse.
He dashed past cups of coffee. No mouse. He sat on the table. No mouse. He even danced in front of the dog. No mouse, no, you are too brave. But the mouse just boasted to his friends every day, I am the bravest in all the land. In the end, one friend said, then, do, then go touch the cat's nose. His friends dashed after him to tackle him. Stop! Only a mouse who wants to die touches the cat's nose. Ooh. The end. Too brave. I'm glad the mouse didn't go touch the cat's nose. That would not end well. Hmm. I think he made a good choice at the end. It's important to make good choices, boys and girls. And sometimes you may make a good choice or a bad choice, but that's all right. That's how you learn, right? Absolutely. Brr, it's getting chilly out here. Well, you can't see your breath, but it is cold. All right. And speaking of breath, I picked out a book that I thought would be really good to read called, the title is called, Each Breath a Smile. And the story is by Sister Susan and illustrated by Nguyen T. Hop and Nguyen Dong and based on teachings by, and I'm not sure how to pronounce, Peach Hatan. This is a really nice book and I used to read this to my children. Each breath a smile. Dear little ones, let us sit very quietly. Listen. Listen to the wind, listen to the birds, listen to the crickets and the frogs. Listen very quietly to your breathing. Let us put our hand on our tummy and feel our breathing. Our tummy goes out and then it goes in. Breathing in and breathing out. Our tummy goes out and then it goes in. Breathing in and breathing out. I close my eyes and stay with my breathing in. I close my eyes and stay with my breathing out. It is so wonderful to feel my breath coming in. 
it is so wonderful to feel my breath going out. Breathing in, I calm my whole body. Breathing out, my whole body is calm. Body calm. Breathing in, I am blooming like a flower. Breathing out, I feel fresh. Flower fresh. Breathing in, I see myself as a mountain. Breathing out, I feel solid, mountain solid. Breathing in, I see my sp myself as space. Breathing out, I feel free, space free. Breathing in, I come back to myself. Breathing out, I smile. Breathing in, the world is so beautiful. Breathing out, I smile. Blade of grass is so green. The sky is so blue. I see that mommy is lovely. I see that daddy is wonderful. I see that my sister is so kind. I see that my brother is so playful. I see that my grandma and my grandpa are so sweet and gentle. I see that my classmates and my teacher make me so happy. We listen and we see. life is breathing with us. The end. Did you like this book? Now, if you'd like, you can always go back in the video and practice and you can listen to me read the words and you can practice breathing in and breathing out, closing your eyes and thinking about all the words that I'm saying. I know in preschool, we talked a lot about taking deep breaths and relaxing our bodies. Um, and that could be a really good thing to practice. So you can always look back at the video and practice whenever you need to. And then in no time, you'll be an expert at it and you could do it whenever you need it. All right. Now, boys and girls, can you hear the wind in the background?
I'm gonna be very silent and pay attention to the wind. that I was able to reach you outside today and that we're able to do a field trip. That was a lot of fun. I'm gonna to try to do that again another day and we could check on how the plants are growing and I'm sure they're gonna be bigger next week. So we'll check. So anyways, in the meantime, I'm thinking of you and I hope you're well. And even though we're not together, I think about you every single day and I hope that you're well. I hope you are happy and I hope you're keeping busy with your learning and your playing. If you get a chance to go inside to play, please do that. 